Hello all, welcome to the Stats 250 um, Final Exam Review C um, Video Solutions. Hopefully these videos can help you when studying for your final exam. I do encourage you to try the questions first. Then if you don't understand the questions, refer to your notes. If you're still having trouble, then you guys should read the actual solutions first. But then if you still having trouble, watch the videos. And if you're still having trouble, go to tutoring. But I suggest you go to tutoring first because these videos should be only used for a reference. So with that said, good luck to everybody on their final exam. And let's get started with question number one. Number one says, determine which of the four levels of measurement, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio, is most appropriate. The temperatures of eight different days in a month. Now what I did is, I created a diagram, and I didn't give the precise definitions of each, but I gave things, well, definitions for you guys to be able to easily remember in order to determine what is the level of measurement for the variable under examination. Let's put that back in yellow. So we have two types of data. We have qualitative data, we have quantitative data. And within each type of data, we have two levels of measurement. Qualitative is nominal and ordinal. Quantitative is interval and ratio. The data is nominal if it's categories without a rank or an order. Categories can be um, such as eye color, it can be your um, nationality, your political affiliation, those are categories without a rank and an order. Ordinal are categories with a rank or an order. For example, the letter grade you receive in the class, A, B, C, D. There's a ranking, A is the highest, then it's B, then it's C, then it's D. Or how do you feel about statistics? I strongly don't like it. I don't like it, I'm okay, I like it, I strongly like statistics. That is what is referred to as a Likert scale. Another example of ordinal can be your level of year in college, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. If you notice with those three examples, there is an order applied to those categories but the differences between each category cannot be specified. It is not precise. Interval involves data that can be counted or measured, and we can determine the precise differences between the categories. Interval is numerical data that can be counted or measured with the absence of a true or meaningful zero. Basically, the value of zero in that variable does not mean the absence of that attribute. For example, if it is zero degrees outside, that does not mean that there is no more temperature. If there's no more temperature, we will not be alive. That just means that it is cold outside or it is freezing if we're referring to Celsius. Or when it comes to time, time itself. If it is the beginning of a new day, in military time, it will show zero. That does not mean that there is no time because we wouldn't exist. It just indicates it's the beginning of a new day. So that is interval. Ratio is the same as interval except there is a true or meaningful zero. So zero indicates you don't have it. You go to your bank account and it says zero dollars in your savings account. That is the absence of money. Nothing is there. So it says here, the temperatures of eight different days in a month. Temperature is quantitative. It is quantitative because we can measure temperature. 
So that means it can either be interval or it can be ratio. You must ask yourself, does this variable of temperature has a true zero? Does zero degrees mean that there is no temperature? And that is false. Zero degrees does not mean that there is no temperature. It just indicates it's really cold. Therefore, temperature does not have a true or meaningful zero. Therefore, the answer to this question is interval. And I know it was a lot of talking, so I apologize, but I want to make sure that we had an understanding on the level of measurement. This is an interval level of measurement. And that is it for this first video. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.